We finally made it to the monkey park, but there are so many here and it's crazy. It's I'd say at least 50. So much better than I expected, so I'm happy. So happy. Ready to go skiing. Got my outfit on, sexy sexy ski pants. Daniel is also layered to the brim. I'm going to teach Daniel how to ski. Okay, so we are in Hapo Ski Valley and we've gone to the Saka area, which is the beginners. Um, we went to the other one this morning, but it was a little bit too intense for some of the beginners. Cool. I'm so happy because we're only doing one day skiing that the weather is actually so good. Like it's a little cloudy now, but this morning it was like sunny and it's like just dusting us with snow, which is like pleasant. It's not like a blizzard. Like honestly couldn't have gotten better weather. It's cold, but I don't feel that cold, which is funny. The slopes are so quiet as well. All of Australia heads to the um, parish up. Mm. Whereas, like, I guess because so much of Japan's in snow, they don't all come here. So good, so quiet. Four o'clock now. We have called it quits. Um, our knees were well, starting to. The ski run lift was. We were going to stop anyway. It was. <laughs> it was. Our knees started hurting just because we've been going pretty much since like 8 a.m. pretty much non-stop. Knees were starting to go. The, the cloud came over. You can't even see the top of the mountain anymore. And then we had such a nice day that it was. So hot that so much of the snow melted that they think they're closing this the run so they can run the machine to fix it. So it worked out well for us. We had such a nice day, but and it happened they were closing it right when we were leaving, so couldn't get more perfect. Oh, so much less crowded. I never queued. We never queued for a chairlift. I've had to queue in Australia, but I'm mostly I've never not queued. Handing back the skis and boots, which is why I'm walking like a cowboy. <laughs> And then we're gonna get a bus to Nagaro, I think is what the train guy said, which means we've been saying it wrong, Daniel. It's the morning in Nagano, and we are heading to the Snow Monkeys before heading to Tokyo later today. So from Nagano, it should be pretty easy, we'll see. Should only be a bus to go see the Snow Monkeys in a hot spring. Ooh. Nagano is nice, but it just seems like and not as good version of everywhere else we've been. Super easy bus. Just gotta get in the queue. Oh my god, shock. <laughs> Onward <That's> back. <laughs> cool. So, we've arrived at Jokudani, which is a little town. It's very traditional. I prefer it to Hakuba or Hapo. It's still covered in snow, which is stunning, but it's covered in snow on like traditional houses, which is so nice. Very picturesque. And so it's about a two kilometer walk to the monkeys from where the bus drops you off. So that's what we're currently doing. It's a lot of uphill. Warm my hiking boots. <laughs> a lot of snow, but I don't mind. Half an hour walk in this condition. It's pretty great. Mm -hmm. If I was a monkey, I would be in the hot today. I would just say.
We finally made it to the monkey park and it's amazing. There's no guarantee that you get monkeys here because it's all natural. It's not a zoo or anything, it's just nature. Um, but there are so many here and it's crazy. And I'd say at least 50. There's um, so many. And there's so many babies, it's so cool. Um, absolute highlight. I was worried that like the 50 hour, 50 minute, 50 hour, 50 minute bus journey wouldn't be worth it. The walk here was stunning, they're stunning, it's stunning. Uh, it was 800 yen to get in. It's crazy that there's like this hot spring and then these waterfalls and it's in the snow. It's so much more here than just the monkey parts and monkeys. But it's sunny. Um So we're leaving Monkey Park now. We were there for like about an hour. Um, I was so prepared for it to be all this effort and be no monkeys there at all, and that was not the case. It was so much better than I expected. So I'm happy. So happy. Also happy to not be in the snow anymore and head to something slightly warmer. Short pit stop later. We have some shoes. We've got to have to for the road. Because mm -hmm. it is cold and we're sick of being cold. <laughs> now we're going to eat this. So we got distracted by food last time and the um, point of the whole story was that the snow monkeys were absolutely magical. Felt like I was in a Disney film. And generally in Japan, I found the best thing is like we've done a lot of animal related things. But they've never been zoos, so like none of them have you been. We see them in their natural habitat, and it's so much better. Like have more fun. They have more fun. Yeah, it's just that they're not in cages. They're literally just there, and then you come and check them out. Like so good for that reason. Yeah, don't like zoos. <laughs> so now we are getting yet another train to Tokyo. made it to Tokyo finally that was a journey and a half it shouldn't have been that much effort I don't understand it I've done we did longer train trips this journey this whole holiday and this one for some reason just wrecked me it was only supposed to take an hour and a half and we left at two and now it's six o'clock and we're kind of just at our hotel room now now we have a lot of fun things planned for Tokyo and I'm pretty psyched about them starting tomorrow we were like trying to find somewhere to go for dinner or whatever but it's already six o'clock, so to get anywhere, it's gonna take us like half an hour to an hour. And unfortunately, I have to wash my hair, which may sound really stupid, but I have a lot of hair, and it takes me so freaking long to wash my hair. So um, we decided we we're gonna go for dinner, and then we found out the place that we're going to dinner does takeaway. So we're gonna get some takeout, watch some Netflix. For the record, I was fully prepared to go out. I got changed, I put normal clothes on, I was ready to go. I'll probably film the food, so I won't say goodbye just yet, but if you don't hear from me, that's what I'm... Um. But tomorrow we are doing Mario Kart and Pokemon and maybe Harry Potter and Tripping Acid, which makes sense when you see it. So make sure you hit subscribe so you can see it tomorrow and hopefully I'll see you in a bit when I'm eating dinner. If not, see you tomorrow. Part, it is um, so fun. It is so so fun. It's like the ultimate big kid thing to do because you didn't make it. Oh, it looked like you made it. I don't know. Oh, this is cool. I 
they fit in an edible paper. Like the drugs. <laughs>